International Journal of Health Policy and Management Quality and speed are our culture and the keys to our success. Welcome to the audio summary section of the International Journal of Health Policy and Management. Hi, I'm Sikubuizu Mabunda from South Africa. In 2011, my co-authors and I conducted a study evaluating the role of an intermediate care facility in the continuum of care in South Africa's Western Cape province. The landmark Alma Ata Conference described primary health care as an organization of the health system which includes services delivered to individuals and public health type functions. Three key elements of the primary health care approach are 1. It is not limited to creative services but is also inclusive of preventive and rehabilitative care. 2. Services should prioritize those most in need. 3. To provide comprehensive health care it should be sustained by integrated, functional, and mutually supportive referral systems. A continuum of care includes both acute and subacute modalities. A challenge in evaluating subacute care is that institutions providing similar services may be given different names across the world, and those models and packages of care vary depending on the location. Across the world, these services differ in the extent of multidisciplinary therapy, the duration and nature of nursing care, and the form of medical services provided. These services are also known as intermediate care facilities and are designed for patients who would otherwise face a prolonged hospital stay at acute hospitals. For instance, in the UK, admission is limited to six weeks, has a planned outcome of maximizing independence, and is rendered by a multidisciplinary care team at intensity lower than provided in acute facilities. In Australia, this type of care is offered either on an inpatient or outpatient basis and can take place as a substitute for acute hospitalization or directly after the charge from acute hospitalization. All these models have in common the concept that care focuses on enhancing the quality of life and or functional stages. There is, however, a positive of research on intermediate care in lower middle income countries where the challenges for health systems are substantially different. For example, in the South African context, factors which have shaped intermediate care include the growth of the HIV epidemic and changing approaches to the management of HIV AIDS. A multi method design was used, wherein 68 patients were recruited over one month in mid 2011 in the prospective court. Patient data were collected from clinical record review and an interview administered questionnaire administered shortly after admission to assess primary and secondary diagnosis, information on referring institution knowledge of and previous use of home-based care services, reason for admission and demographics. A telephonic questionnaire administered at, ten, at nine weeks post-discharge recorded their vital status, use of home-based care post-discharge, and their satisfaction with care received. In addition, staff members completed a self-administered questionnaire to describe demographics and skills. We found that intermediate care is a vital but often sidelined component of the health system that offers care in six main domains. Activities of daily living, nursing care, specialized care, rehabilitation care, social work and administration. Just like in developed countries, intermediate care can be viewed as an extension of acute hospital care, whose care is mostly rehabilitative. Internationally, there seems to be agreement that intermediate care expedites discharge from hospital. However, Unlike in the UK and Australia where intermediate care may prevent admission to hospital, in a low middle income country context, patients have to be referred from an acute hospital. The study further found that a care plan beyond admission could significantly reduce mortality. There was poor referral to and poor articulation with home-based care services. The study concluded that intermediate care services should be recognized as an integral part of the health system and should be accessible.